Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for Thy Word. Thy Word is truth. Sanctify us through Thy truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In John chapter 11, we read of the miracle of Jesus who raised Lazarus from the dead. And Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The Jesus of the Bible is the same today. And all that he did in the Bible he still does today. And we read in the book of John the miracle that Jesus did to the people he did it with. In John chapter 11 in verse 9 Jesus says Jesus answered are there not 12 hours of the day if a man walk in the day, he stubbeth not, because he seeth the light of the world. Jesus was going to raise Lazarus from the dead. Where the Jews were, who are wanting to stone Jesus. His disciples warned him. In verse 8, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again? Jesus is going into a dangerous place where they hated him and they wanted to stone him to death. But in verse 16, then said Thomas, which is called Didymus, and to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Of course they didn't die. No, when they went, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead and the Jews who were going to stone Jesus, they all turned and believed in Jesus. But before they went, in their sight, the disciples of Jesus thought they would die, thought they would be stoned to death. But Thomas said, let us also go. They may die with him. And they witnessed the power of Jesus. To see his power today. We must follow Jesus, even to where it's dangerous to our minds. One of my favorite missionaries in history is a man named C.T. Studd. He went to China preached for many years in China. Then he went to India, preached in India. And when he was in his 80s, he went to Africa and preached and died in Africa. C.T. Studd, on his suitcase, had a skull and crossbones. The skull, the bone from the head. Bone? Yeah, from the head, skull bone. Uh, well, uh, and had a slogan. The, uh, a slogan. What does that mean? A saying. Oh, uh, that's a look at the card. Succeed. Succeed. Or die. Ah, uh, what do you want to talk about? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's who God used. He was willing to die for Jesus. 
That's where you go to China. India. And finally Africa. Preaching the gospel. He was willing to die for Jesus. Thomas. The one who told the other disciples. Let us also go that we die with him. He died in India. Preaching the gospel. They killed him there. But because of his preaching, many souls got saved. To serve the Lord. To see the miracles of Jesus. We must go all the way. No matter what it cost us. Even if it cost us our lives. We must be willing. To go all the way with Jesus. And when we do so. That's where you see the power. That's where you see the miracles. So no matter what God calls you to do, go all the way. Be willing to die for the Lord. Never give up. Succeed or death. But don't give up. Go all the way for Jesus. It can be hard. God called me to be an evangelist. God called our brother to be a pastor. And it's not easy. We'll face hard times. But be willing to go all the way. Succeed or death. And God will use you. You'll see the power of the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for Thy Word, for the examples in the Bible of the Apostle Thomas, <laughs> who followed Jesus, even willing to die, and saw Thy power. May we be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord.